What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Classroom of the Elite. Very, very excited to hop into this. This one is episodes seven and eight. The first one is called Nothing is as Dangerous as an Ignorant Friend. A Wise Enemy is to be Preferred. I agree mostly i just need to know the details and which surround that i'm very excited normally the titles actually have a big part to play in terms of the moral theme of the episode so i'm very curious very excited remember if you guys want the full uncut version of this show and early access and, unc and uncut to the other shows i'm watching check out that patreon links are down below you get up to access to four episodes one week for the other shows um and the full uncuts of this and all that great time don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel I say we hop right on into this classroom of the elite episode seven. Let's do it. Okay, so we're on summer vacay. I like the way she has everything planned out for her life. I'm very similar on a daily schedule. I have a daily, weekly, and monthly schedule. Only one who I could think of would be calling us would be a Yano Koji. Speak of the devil. Oh, the music stops too. <laughs> That's funny. It's all. That's so funny. Uh-huh. <laughs> Whenever they play this music, I'm always so intrigued. Is you know, I love this style of song. Who are we meeting in the rain? You got all the stuff we need? I don't peep on the girls' dressing room. Okay. Someone told me that this episode was kind of fan servicey and kind of fillery. I don't know how accurate that is, but damn, I like Horikita's fit. Very drippy in the summer. If only I had the balls to say what she says. Yeah, I cannot write all that down. Hold on, I do want to see that. One of the students at the top of the class D hierarchy. Because of that, she has influence among the female students on par with Kushida. At the moment, she's dating class D's effective leader. Oh, well, that's kind of important. I didn't realize that was Yosuke. I didn't recognize him outside of his class attire, which is strengthening her position. She's easygoing and a bit frivolous. She's reckless with money and blew the 100,000 points she initially received on fashion and accessories. Um, that's, she was the girl who was like, I only need 2,000 for lunch. You think you could spare some points? Okay. Yep, and use them to finance her lifestyle. Seems often lacking in caution and consideration, but unlike Sudo, she so she shows no signs of ca causing problems at the time. Got it. Way to introduce Karui Zawa. I know about I know about Yusuke. That is a good question because we 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 do know that Class D is for defective kids. You know, it's so funny how I have similar mindsets to Hiro. You know, Horikita in terms of my introvertness, and I would much rather be inside. I would never say this to people. She's just, she's just built different. I love her. Oh, we got the squad. I do like how Sakura is a part of the squad now, too. If we actually want to kick Kushida out of the squad and just pick up Sakura instead, I'm down. So this is somewhat of a fun episode, but also a good recap if you're like seven weeks into the show and I've forgotten some of these characters, you know? they're the ones who are doing yeah i recognize pseudo for being how tall he was they're the ones who have the plan operation operation peep on the girls yeah yeah what are they doing uh morse code we messed up you guys shouldn't have come from the direction of the pool you guys are dumb i want to learn morse code they do it in stranger things they do it in this it seems like Seems like a good little thing to just know, you know? Ichi Nose and who else is all here? We got the whole squad going to the pool. Now, I'm not going to give any reason in particular, but pool episodes are always one of my favorites. I have no idea why. Yep, do like me some Ichinose so far. I gotta add that little asterisk for every character. 
But I do like how they're having this little girl talk in the locker room about Ayano Koji. Because he is somewhat the central figure that connects all four of them, you know? Oh my god, talk about a school with a pool. Was that a lazy river in the pool? Anytime they play this song, I always think of they're either showing like some secret plan, which they are, or the president, Manabu. <laughs> Young Lust. I'm dead. That is really, it has a wave pool, a lazy pool, a goddamn gazebo. Like what the, I need to go to the school, man. I'm telling you. I think he's Operation HQ. Where? Actually, that's a good question. I, you know, I, where did he go? The bathroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, is this show serious? Like, don't get me wrong. I like boobs just as every other guy. I don't know if I need this many boobs in my face, you know? Just think, just think if they were, this is like, don't get me wrong. Like, every horny kid has had this dream, you know? But if they actually were to get... <laughs> Jesus Christ. If you actually get caught doing this, you're actually getting expelled, arrested, like, it could be horrible. <laughs> no. I need to start basing my daily life on manga. <laughs> Just like EK. That fucking music, Jesus. This is their plan, have him speed back and have EK go handle it instead. Oh, wow, that's an actual issue. We have Ryuen coming. I won't lie, Ryuen's looking kind of fucking drippy with that dragon button up with a little V showing off the little pecs. At the school, students can buy the right to transfer to the class of their choosing. Is that just some information that we haven't gotten yet? Because I never knew that. 20 million private points are required to do this? Ooh, what? We can go to A or 20 mil? I need 20 mil. See, this is my thing. If people went this in depth and this creative towards actually studying, Pseudo would have never had issues with midterms. <laughs> Look at these fuckers. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, who gets a leg cramp and just runs it off like that? Okay, Yamauchi's so funny. These guys are hilarious. <laughs> He's doing like your shonen thing. He's got the fucking aura around him, you know? Come on, oh, this is so, this is so extra. That's how I roll. Yeah, you really gonna fuck with Albert? Is that what's her name? Sakayanagi? Why do we keep having fucking showdowns with her and Ryuen out of nowhere? A lot of people in the comments were hyped. And Manabu's here too? What the fuck? A lot of people were hyping up uh, Sakayanagi in the comments. A lot of you guys. I'm excited. Like... This has to be, like, satire. Obviously, it's a parody. It's supposed to be, like, one of those funny-style episodes. But it's literally mimicking, like, any sort of shonen issue where this is actually happening. People's lives are actually on the line. The stakes are crazy. Well, this is about peeping in on the girls' fucking locker room, you know? Like, I love how funny that is. It's literally satire. It's so funny. They were crying. I have fit, you know, I love that. Like, if this were Dragon Ball, Attack on Titan, anything, I, you know, I'd be, like, crying. I'd be like, let's do it, let's go. But this is about seeing titties. Okay, Ayano Koji's gonna be the, the savior of the plan. I said I have a leg cramp, stay away from me. Horikita. We never got to see his reaction to that. That's you, fucks. Uh huh. We're calling him out. Hell's yeah, they can. Heck yeah, we can. 
Heck yeah, we will. Woo! That was honestly the most outgoing speech I've ever heard Horiki to do. She easily made herself like the number one of Class D right there. Now we're starting to put our targets on our, not really target, but like we're getting our name out there. I mean, they already knew about us type shit. You know, I'm just saying I'm excited. She is such a tsundere. I cannot wait till we fall in love one day with her, you know? You gotta do that at least once, you know? Only fair. Only fair. Oh, God. Mm, now we're gonna have a big class 1D fun little actual pool get together, you know? Have some splashing. Sakura, you, you shy little girl. <laughs> she just goes and like drowns herself. God damn it. Oh, see, now that's a memory that'll last a lifetime. Just emotionless dead face. But hey, you know, that was the happiest she's ever been. I'm just joking. Oh, yes. Yeah, come on. That was the that was the biggest smile we ever had from Horikita. I like that episode. That was fun. That was a fun one. All right, we're moving on to episode eight, but this one has like a One Piece title feel. It says, abandon all hope, yay who enter here. That's like a pirate kind of saying, what the hell? Why would someone call and say that? Who the hell called and said that? But if we keep our non and ascending mindset, you know? Lose your freedom just like Icarus. Whoa. He's bucking up against the teacher? She is not scared or nervous at all. You need to make a decision right now. I do like this concept and the symbolism with the play of Icarus in the background and stuff like that and how deep. First off, production value is great on this play. But Ayano Koji always... He always fascinates me. Yeah, it sounds like a. What's the what's the English term I'm looking for? Oh wait, have we always been on a yacht? What? Am I crazy or why are we on a yacht? So I'm assuming maybe for the end of summer vacation we're on this yacht. Technically, yes. I'm not. I don't know why I'm calling it a yacht. It's literally 15 times bigger than that. It's a cruise ship. The Speranza. Interesting. Oh my god. I've actually had a few friends who've gone on cruises. I would like to go on a cruise sometime. Seems like a good time. I just... That looks crazy. I don't know how it handles seasickness. There's a lot of aspects I'm, I'm curious about, you know? Is that Yusuke saying that? Or is that Ike? That's, uh, Ike. Yeah. All right, my boy, you go do it. Oh, Ike is honestly one of the funnier ones of this little little squad, you know. I mean, hey, you know, baby steps. We gotta start with Kikyo. He's dead. You gave him a heart attack. I know, he went on a first name basis with her, you know, that's that's a dub right there. Suzune, right? I would love to go back in time to where my biggest worry was telling my crush how I felt, man. God damn, the times were good back then. <laughs> Look at this dude. Holy shit. First off, the Speedo, a little too much. Second off, this dude is chiseled. Okay, Kirsch. Hello. 
I like their fucking Hawaiian like little button up shirts too. The floral patterns, very wavy. Yeah, just get something. Okay. You guys are a little crazy. Oh my god. Pseudo. Pseudo. We just had this conversation. He's class 1A. Katsuragi. This is the guy I'm most intrigued about. One, his bald head is very cool looking. Two, I love his voice actor. And three, he's the one on par with Sakayanagi. And so people... Hi oh, I'm so excited. Yano Koji, let me give me like two more sentences of what you're thinking about him. How am I supposed to be focusing on their actual school strategies when all I see is titties and boobs, you know? Like I'm actually trying to focus on who they're talking about. Come on, show. Okay. What are you trying to get to Horikita for? Okay. I feel like a lot of people in Class D are going to be using Ayano Koji as an intermediary to Horikita because she just doesn't want to talk to anyone. So, so far, our main people of the squad are Ayano Koji, Yusuke, Sudo, EK, and Yamauchi. I need to know more about this dude. He's just been like a funny guy in the background the whole time, but he's ripped his shit. So is he going to be like crazy smart, crazy athletic? What, you know? I'm on the same. I agree. Ryuwen is not even interested in, in uh, Ayano Koji. Only Horikita. Immediately going to her given name. Ibuki, one of Ryuin's many girls, I'm assuming. You think Albert's letting that happen? That's the boss man. Yeah, once you start doing that. Oh, wow, we're crossing the line crazy. I'm curious her issue with Ryuan. Is it mainly just like he doesn't care about her as a relationship and is talking to other women? Or is it something deeper than that? Like the way he handles things in terms of the classmates, like beating their asses and shit? Anytime I see Sakayanagi uh, like this, I'm full focus. She's playing chess while getting information. Are you serious? Yeah, you know you're sweat if you're playing chess while doing reports. We're not going to tell us? I mean, if you're... Hmm, I'm curious. I wish I paid more attention to the actual pieces. If she had knocked over the queen, it would have been Horikita, the king, Ayano Koji? I don't know. Is she thinking about confessing to Ayano Koji? Sakura. I'm cool with them being together, too. I really like Sakura so far. To me, Sakura, which is weird because her name is Sakura, is like the Hinata from Naruto of this show. And I feel like, hmm... And Ayano Koji's the Naruto. If you gave her your heart, man, you guys would be together forever. This girl would love you indiscriminately. Because she's such a good actress, you know? That's why I don't believe anything she says when she's happy mode now, you know? It's one thing to have like a fake personality and to try to be 
professional in front of other people, but it's a whole other thing entirely when you say, if you betray me, I'll say you raped me. What you got to say, girly? Yeah, who wouldn't be? Huh, interesting. Maybe we should look inside about that. She, she has said that, though, probably six times in the show so far. I thought you, and then never mind. And then proceeds to not say it. I do want to know what's going on in her mind, though. I don't trust her at all, but I am very curious. What are we looking at? Oh, what is this? Like the fucking the challenge? Survivor? I'm going on this crazy ass looking island. We got our different factions. Everyone getting ready, ready, gathering up. All right, Miss Chavashira. Yep, survival. You're going to need to create a hierarchy, create jobs, create order, obviously sustainability. Like surviving by yourself is one thing. Surviving with even a small group is another thing. Surviving with an entire class. This is going to be crazy. I'm kind of excited. I won't lie. All right. Talk about a couple of episodes. That first one, I could see why some people would say it's a little fan servicey. I won't lie. I can understand. I get it. Um, but I would say my big takeaways from that one are the class 1A somewhat unifying under Horikita saying, yes, we will do it. We're somewhat signifying a declaration of war. We're trying. Don't take us for granted. Don't underestimate us. We're going to be going ham. And, and now we have people like Ryuen targeting us. We have Ichinose talking to her teacher about what, looking over us. I say us as Ayano Koji and Horikita as a combined unit. Because I feel like we're the king and the queen of our class. Not necessarily like, you know, like just their roles in a chessboard. Speaking of chess, Sakayanagi also wanting to do research on students. She didn't say any names though. So I think it's going to be like, there's a lot. And we also have a um, Katsuragi, bald boy, who is, you know, part. Like we have a lot of different moving pieces in this chessboard. That's why I really like the chess analogy from Sakayanagi. But like, I'm curious about this survival test. I'm curious about how this is going to work. I need to see more about this blonde guy who's ripped in our class. I need to see more about Ryuen, Albert, obviously, Sakayanagi, Katsuragi, I'm very, Ichinose. I'm very curious. I would love Sakura and Ayano Koji to get together, but I also would love Horikita and Ayano Koji to get together. So it's like, you know, it's kind of rough, but Overall, thoroughly enjoyed these two episodes. Hopefully you guys did as well. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon for early access and full length. Up to four episodes of the other shows. Don't have early access to this one, but full length over there. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.